is it possible to make any money as a dance instructor? That's the exact question I had asked myself many years ago back when I was thinking about becoming a dance instructor, doing this as a full-time thing, and I was scared. I was terrified. I was, you know, I was thinking, okay, do I want to go with a more secure path where it seems like this is the obvious path to make money, which is just follow a regular career, go to, you know, get a regular degree in college, get a follow the exact path that, you know, they, they lay out for you in college and then eventually you find a job that I'm not really that passionate about or do this thing that I'm really passionate about, but it just seems very unlikely that I am going to make any money. I didn't know any dance instructors, any dance studio owners, anybody that at least you know, back then, now I know many dance studio owners and many dance instructors who are making money. But back then, I didn't know anybody who was making any money. So I guess I just gave you the answer there. There, Yes, you can't make money. But let's let's explore this further. At least I'm going to share with you my story and show you that it is possible. At least you, you don't even have to be a popular dance instructor. You don't have to get lucky. You don't have to own a dance studio. In fact, uh, it, it you could also, if you own a dance studio, that's great. You can also make money as a dance uh, studio owner. But let's talk about it from a dance instructor perspective. So I was a dance instructor uh, so I, when I decided to go all in and just dedicate, this was this is it. This is what I was going to do. Um, I didn't know where I was going to get students from. I didn't know um, how I was going to run classes. And, you know, I have found a dance studio at some place that was like, going to let me teach like six hours a week. I had made this deal with the dance uh, studio owner, they were going to pay me $15 an hour, which was I was super excited by $15 an hour, or we would split 50 50, whatever I would bring in would split it 50 50. And for many years, after, you know, doing this, I was barely making any money, I was making anywhere from like a thousand one hundred dollars to a thousand three hundred maybe on the best months like a thousand five hundred you know when i got a private lesson here and there um and i was teaching adults and so i i was wondering i was you know thinking to myself all the time it's like am i gonna ever be in a in a place that i am financially successful do i have to be i was in fact i was working really hard practicing every day because i thought you know Maybe someday I'm going to be so good as a dance instructor that I'm going to be really popular and people are just going to want to come to me. And that's when I'm going to make my money. And I like for many years, I just struggled financially and, and I used to live very frugally living in, in not a, a good neighborhood, not a good part of town. Um, I was like, I wouldn't go out. I wouldn't go like eat out. I like I just would try and save any little money that I can um, just because I was in so much financial fear. And so um, I, I'll tell you when everything changed for me. It's because uh, like I kept improve over the years. I kept being a better and better dancer. But my the amount of money that I was making wasn't uh, I wasn't increasing the amount of money that I was making. And so I'm like, man, you know, wh what can I do? And it all happened by accident. To save you the story, I ended up stumbling upon a a person, a, a book called Seller Be Sold. And normally, I'm, uh, you know, as a as an artist, I hated sales. I I hated marketing. In fact, what I thought would happen is that I would become so good as a dance as a dancer and as a dance instructor that I wouldn't even need to market. I wouldn't even need to like go and sell. People would just want to come to me and they would just want to hand me money. That's how I saw it in my, in my head. And so, which is, wasn't reality at all. I kept improving my dance skills, but my, the money that I was making wasn't, um, increasing. And so one day I stumbled upon this book called seller be sold. And you know, the, the story is a little bit long and weird. And so I don't want to get too deep into it, but I actually paid attention to this book and I read it. And what I learned in there completely changed my life. And so I, I what I, what it taught me is the basics of selling. And so 
before I used to think of myself, I'm just an artist. I'm just somebody who like, I love dancing and I want to share my passion. I, I hate sales. I hate those people who are very sleazy and they're, pre and they put pressure on you and, and like, they just want to sell you. And like, that is the antithesis of what I wanted to be. I didn't want to be like this, like high pressure salesperson. And that's at least that's what I thought what sales was in my brain. And then after reading this book, I ended up realizing that I don't have to like sell, sell like used cars or something like that to be a salesperson. That in fact, I was already a salesperson and that my product as a salesperson was me, my dancing, my dance classes. And that transformation, that shift in my brain coupled along with like the things that I learned in the book about selling made a huge shift. And so that right there, that book, and, and, and for me, for example, I'll give you a concrete example of how it changed uh, my life and, and what it did for me. So I used to teach salsa classes uh, at this studio and any, and then, you know, if you know anything about Latin dance classes, there's salsa and then there's bachata as well, which is another genre and it's a separate dance. And so, but I didn't used to teach bachata uh, back then. And so I um, would get calls from people wanting to learn bachata, but I didn't offer it. And so I would, the calls would sound something like this. Like somebody would call, I would say, hey, what's going on? And they would say, hey, you know, you guys offer bachata classes over there. And I would say, no no, sir, where we don't offer bachata class. And they would be like, okay, thank you so much. Well, I guess I'll have to look around and I'll be, and I would say, yeah, perfect. Uh, sorry that I can't help him. And, and I would hang up. And so that's kind of how the calls would go. And after reading this book, I remember like me thinking, okay, what if I could try to convince somebody else? Like it, it taught me a little bit about persuasion. Like how can you convince somebody, um, to, to take your classes? Like, and so I, I remember this one time where this person called and it, so the call went like this, like, hey, you know, what's going on? Are you guys offering bachata classes over there? And I said, no, sir, we're, we're not offering any bachata classes. And he's like, OK, great. Well, I guess I'll just look around. And I said, wait, whoa, 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 one second, sir. Let me ask you, um, you know, how come you want to learn bachata? Do you know salsa? And he's like, well, you know. I want to be able to go out to the to the nightclub and be able to learn, you know, how to grab any girl, pull, pull any girl from the dance floor and be able to dance with her. Um, and I want to feel more comfortable out on the dance floor. And I said, awesome. Well, I mean, do you know salsa? And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm like at a like at a five. I, I said, how, how well do you know salsa? He's like from one to ten. And he's like, I'm at a five out of ten. And you know, and I said, awesome. Well, what do you think would happen if you were at a 10 out of 10? And he's like, well, you know, I would feel way more comfortable going out on the nightclub. And like, you know, I, I would, I would be able to ask anybody to dance with me. And I'm like, awesome. Well, isn't that what, what you're looking for? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, look, with our classes, we're going to be able to take you from a five to a 10. You just got to come in. You just got to participate in the classes, but you're going to like, you're going to learn all of the moves, all of the turns, everything in here. In fact, you're even going to learn how to dance bachata because it's a much easier dance than salsa. You're going to learn how to do that. And you're not even going to have to take a bachata class. Just but like just learning salsa is how and that and, and I told him the truth because I never took a bachata class yet. I knew how to dance this because salsa was harder. And so that's like at the end of the call, he's like, OK, so when are your classes? How do I come in? And in my, in my mind, that's when the shift happened of like, oh my God, this is, this is possible. It's possible to like have more control than I thought. And, and when that shift happened, I remember the next month. So I had, I had been making like a thousand one hundred to a thousand three hundred per month, or maybe a thousand five hundred. The next month I made like $2,000 and I was stoked. I was like, oh my God, this actually works. Like I'm making more money and you know, people don't even know how well I dance. It's, it seems like it doesn't even matter how well I dance. It's just how well I can communicate with them and, and like convince them 
and persuade them to try my classes. And, you know, it kept going. And the next month I went up to $3,000. And then, you know, the next month, $4,000. The next month, $5,000. And, and so it kept going up until eventually as a dance instructor, I remember being, I was teaching at this, you know, I eventually went out on my own, stopped teaching for the dance studio that I was teaching at. And I rented this yoga, like this yoga space. I rented like six hours out of their, their studio. Um, and then I would teach private lessons at, at, like in my apartment. And so doing that, I was able to make about like $7,000 per month with a $400 uh, rent, which was crazy. And so it's totally possible to make money as a dance stu instructor. If you, first of all, if you learn how to sell, that's the first thing that I would recommend you do. And, and again, go check out that book, sell or be sold, help me a, a ton. And so I, I recommend it to anybody who, you know, who's more into the art or, or anybody. It's just, if you want to learn the foundations of selling, it's something that taught me and learn, allowed me to see myself, you know, as a salesperson who my product, again, is the dance, my, my dance classes. And so that taught me a lot. And then the other thing that I would also recommend that you do is that you learn, you know, some basic marketing skills or some marketing skills. And so these learning these skills, I thought that the more, the more, the better of a dancer I became, the more money I was going to make. And in reality, once I learned sales and once I learned marketing, my money, the, the revenue I was starting to generate started to increase. And so that's where, that's what I mean by, um, you know, you, you don't have to be the best in the world to make the, you don't even have to be popular the people that were calling me about my dance classes, they had never heard of me. I, I wasn't popular. And so, and yet I was making a decent amount of money back then because of, I learned these two skills. When it comes to marketing, you got to learn how to get the word out there, how to get people to, to know that you exist. You then got to learn how to, to get these people to inquire about your, your dance classes, to reach out to you or to at least give you their contact information so that you can reach out to them. You got to learn how to follow up with these people, get them, get them to actually walk into your studio. And so these are skills. I get, I, I talk about this all the time in my YouTube channel. So if, if you haven't done so subscribe, I share all the tips about like that, how to market, how to follow up, how to get people to inquire, how to get them to actually walk in. And so, yeah, if you're interested, subscribe, but learning all those skills is what is going to allow you to then make more money as a dance instructor. Um, so yeah, that's it. I mean, you don't need to be a, a popular, uh, dance instructor or, or a popular dancer in order to make money. You don't need to, um, you don't need to, uh, like spend your life thinking that, you know, the better of a dancer you become, the more money you're going to make. You don't need to get lucky. I mean, that doesn't mean like you should be a bad dancer or anything like that. I think being good at dancing and being uh, a good instructor is what helped me because once people took my classes, they realized that, you know, they, they love the classes. I was a good instructor. And so I'm not saying don't focus on that, but I'm also saying, don't neglect the business side of things to, to owning, to being a dance instructor is, you know, it's what's going to allow you to make money. And so anyway, I hope this has been helpful. My name is Herman with Get More Students. We own a company where we help dance studio owners. If you know any dance studio owners, if you're a dance instructor and you, and you know any dance studio owners who want to grow their dance studio, um, you know, let them know about us, go to get more, tell them to go to getmorestudents.com where we have their, you know, they can book a call and we can help them grow. Uh, or if in the future you own your own dance studio, then this will help you, you know, we can help you grow it even further. All right. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will see you all in the next video.